it's Barton Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. I've got an interesting case here of a patient with an abnormality in the right upper lobe. If we start looking here on the mediastinal windows and just scroll through, we can see that the mediastinal lymph nodes are normal. As we scroll down further, we get to the right main bronchus and the right upper lobe. And just below the right upper lobe takeoff, there seems to be a soft tissue lesion here, which I suspect is the right hilar lymph node. Here's the pulmonary artery cursing across the top of that. As we scroll back up, we can see that the anterior segment of the right upper lobe coming off here seems to come to a brief, abrupt ending there, possibly with some soft tissue just in here. If you look here at the, the lung windows, you can see these lungs are completely normal. Here's the trachea. I'll just scroll down through now to the right upper lobe. Here's the right main bronchus, right upper lobe. And just here we can see the posterior segment is clear. However, the anterior segment there comes to an abrupt ending there. And there seems to be this soft tissue here. And on the lung windows, we can appreciate that there's some inflammatory change or atelectasis around the anterior segment here, suggesting that there is obstruction or partial obstruction of the anterior segment of the right upper lobe. So I think what we need to do here is to perform a bronchoscopy to inspect this area of the right upper lobe to look for an endobronchial lesion and biopsy that or take samples for micro. And then we can use the EBUS to look at this hyalur lymph node and biopsy the lymph node. So it's an interesting case and once I perform the bronchoscopy I'll upload that video. So if you like this or subscribe to the page you'll be notified when the procedure is performed. It'll be nice to correlate the imaging with the endobronchial procedure. Okay, thanks for watching.